All right, so I was able to map the T-bar to the uh, the replay kind of speed here. Let me just go focus. I'll show you um, exactly what's going on. Let me start a replay here. Uh, so this guy's going, if you watch down here, this is actually the little bar for the, the time. Let's see if I can actually get focused on that for you guys. When I pull the T-bar down, you'll see the little bar is going down now. And when I go up, you'll see it going up. And if you look at the values right over here, right there, you see it's going 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and zero. And those are being mapped right here. So let's see if I can get this focused so you can see. Watch the numbers over there in the little bar going back up and back down and you can see that it's affecting the replay speed as well here um, so here we go he's gonna hike the ball let's try this one time and slow him down slow him down he makes a throw it's a deep throw over the middle and back to real time so it, uh, it plays pretty good now it looks like there was a flag boo Quickly, just to show you how I did that, let me uh, pause this and I'm gonna focus. It's kind of tough to do with this. So if you go over here to settings, shortcuts, and if you look here, um, let's see if I can bring this down so you can see it. All uh, right here. So. What we've got is a bunch of replay speed values here. So if I click on one of these guys, just ignore that T-bar. That was the old one that I named, but you can look at that one. You can start with that one, I guess. If you look what I did here, so I, I have a MIDI note. That's the T-bar, which the T-bar is zero. Uh, and I hit, you know, find. It came up as, you know, note zero. But then I made it a value. And so when you hit find like this is you can move the t-bar so boom, 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 I'm gonna move the t-bar and when I do that it's showing the values there on the right the velocity just like a MIDI note like if you're playing on a drum pad so 127 is really hard you know zero is like really soft or 10 is really soft so what I did was I went in there and I actually mapped those velocities or those values to the speed so 127 is obviously going to be one because that's a hundred percent and then I just went by tens down. So 110 I made is like 90%, so 0 0.90. And the value was 110. You gotta make sure you check the little value box. Um, then it's just gonna keep going down. This one's like 80. So 80% 80 for 102. And these were just crude kind of guesstimates of like, velocity from 127 to zero so you could I mean if you want to do math and you can refine these too like you could add fives in there instead of values of 10 but the 10 seem to work fine there's 70 the value of 85 so setting it up like this allowed me to you know change the speed in increments of 10 so you can see it drop in there 40 20 10 yep so yeah so that's it Hopefully that helps. Thanks, guys.